All right, all right, all right, all right. My name is Will Beesler. This is my new spear fishing buddy, Toby. Hi, Toby. Hello. Um, and today we're going to be talking about converting your spear gun into a roller gun. Okay, so this is a traditional spear gun. This is my 110 Rhode Island rail gun. You might have noticed this from my previous video, I slightly had to cannibalize it for parts of the other gun. But this is basically your standard spear gun. It works on the principle that you have your rubber bands connect to the back of the spear gun, you have to pull them back, you suppress the trigger, it powers the spear to shoot out the front. Unfortunately, when the rubbers um, speed up, accelerate, and push out, it creates quite a lot of wasted energy at the front that um, can make you, uh, it can give you basically a lot of recoil and it can cause you to kind of miss quite a lot of shots. It's kind of happened to me quite a lot, it's really frustrating and it's kind of one of the reasons why I started investigating roller guns and roller setups. The roller guns are normally very complicated um, and uh, over the last couple of years I've been investigating them and uh, the best setup that I could find was uh, especially for my Rob Allen guns, was the MVD roller head system. Um, I know there's other brands out there, and I know that they're all basically very, very good, but for me personally, this was just the off-the-shelf buy that I wanted to experiment with. Um, I looked at tutorials online how to do it, and I'll put some of the links in the description of this video. Um, but I have to highlight there was definitely a couple of things that was missing. Um, that was very frustrating and uh, it didn't take me 10 minutes to convert this gun. It took me actually more like two days uh, to relearn how to tie the knots and how to work out the size of my rubbers and uh, also the length for my wishbone basically. So there's a couple of small things that I'll talk you through and um, we'll, we'll go through it basically. But essentially uh, the roller head sits at the front of the gun. It replaces your muzzle, your traditional muzzle. The, uh, the bands are pre-tensed at the bottom of the gun. Uh, they are connected up with a piece of Dyneema line. With, uh, there's a couple of screws at the back. They connect through and around. Um, so there's a little bit of tension on these rollers at the bottom. But then you have these rollers at the top of the muzzle. And the, 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 um, the rollers kind of bend around them. And you have a handle up here that you then are basically using to kind of pull down and hook your, your gun onto. Uh, a couple of things I didn't um, do right the first time around was, uh, and I didn't talk about it in the tutorials, was the length of your wishbone. The length of your wishbone it needs to be a little bit shorter, so it sits right up here on, the, on, this, on this little guard up here. Uh, my first attempt, my wishbone was a little bit longer and the, the rubbers actually slipped in below uh, below the, the rollers and it was really really difficult to kind of cock the whole gun and the way the, the gun now works is that you, you basically when you do cock the gun it pulls all the way from down here all the way up and around and as you can see as it whoops back it, um, it has a lot, lot of energy it basically has twice as much energy as a normal standard um, rail gun or a normal sling gun um, and it is <laughs> to be honest, fantastic to kind of see some an inanimate object um, become almost a, a, a live thing. It's uh, it's it's quite fantastic. Uh, I used it a couple of weeks ago uh, for the first time, and it got really really smooth underwater. It works really really well underwater, especially when you have your big thick gloves on. You can kind of grab this the front, um, the the helper. Um, it shoots really straight and there's really no recoil. I'm really, really, really pleased with this kind of setup. I've actually put a reel on it as well from the other gun and uh, the whole the whole thing works really well. There's a couple of small concerns, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit worried about uh, my wishbone getting cut by the steel at the front here. Um, and then also I've noticed there's a couple of um, couple of little cuts in my, in my rubbers already. And I think that might be from the line release at the bottom when, when the gun is completely cocked, you, um, it's really easy to obviously nick the rubbers. So I'm really, really scared uh, to, uh, to get more nicks into the rubber, but that's just part of the game, I suppose. Uh, if you see anything that I've done wrong on this gun and you think I can improve it, 
please make some comments in the, in, the, in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to learn how to make this gun work but even better. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. At some stage, I'll probably have to uh, replace this line as well. So, but uh, for any of you guys out there that want to convert your gun into a roller gun or have any uh, uh, hesitations about it, I definitely say go for it. It makes a huge difference. Does it make me shoot any more fish? No, not really, <laughs> but uh, it does even the odds a little bit more. So um, yeah, cool, that's, uh, that's me on the, the roller gun. Last but not least, I'd like to introduce you to uh, the Stone Travel Watch Bars. This is Petrullian Lime, Bog Myrtle and Nettle. Um, they're 100% naturally made in Scotland. Uh, they're fully biodegradable, even the packaging. Uh, they're great for washing your body, on your armpits, your hair, having a shave with it. It's a great travel companion, emergency deodorant. It's great for washing that fishy smell off your hands after a dive. Um, if you want to find out more about this great product, Please check it out on our website, I'll put the link in the description below and if you feel lucky, like this video and um, we're going to be sending out a couple of these bars to a couple of lucky guys out there. Um, again, thank you for watching, um, catch you next time, cheers, bye.